All right, so today we're gonna to show you how PX Backup can be used for application mobility to migrate applications from one OpenShift container platform version to another. Here we have a login screen for OpenShift 3.11. So let's quickly log in and take a look at the environment we're working out of. Now that we're logged in, we can look at the cluster information on our screen showing that it is 3.11 running Kubernetes Master 1.11. The next tab we have here is OpenShift Container Platform 4.5. And if we log into this UI, we can see here that the OpenShift version is here on your left. Uh, it's running on AWS 4.5.3, stable 4.5. So both of these clusters are running on AWS. Um, and that's important because uh, PX Backup can be used for various ways of migrating applications. Uh, they don't have to be on the same cloud provider, but in this case, they are. Uh, we have preloaded an app NS1 uh, running a couple of different applications, uh, five stateless pods, and then a MariaDB database, which is uh, running a stateful database container. And that stateful database container actually has a PVC here. And that PVC is a Amazon AWS EBS volume. So this is using the built-in GP2 storage class. And uh, Portworx backup can be used to migrate this from cluster to cluster, even though it's not using Portworx Enterprise Storage, which is fine. So here we can see that there is no app NS1 or namespace at all in our 4.53 cluster. Um, so what the goal here is that we're going to use PX Backup, which is the screen you're seeing, to migrate that whole namespace from OpenShift 3 to OpenShift 4. We have both clusters connected to our backup UI here. So the first thing we'll do is click on Backup on our OpenShift 3 cluster, select the namespace we want to backup. You can see here our Hello World service deployment, our MariaDB deployment, and persistent volume claim secrets and service are all there. So we can back up that entire namespace. We should give it a name. We're going to call it OpenShift 3 apps because this is kind of what it represents. It's the applications from this namespace on OpenShift 3.11. And we're going to click backup now. So what this does now is kick off a backup job, which will first go into uh, an in-progress state, which will target any state in the cluster first. So this is gonna target that AWS EBS volume first. Um, any data should be backed up first and restored first so that the applications can function properly. So once that PVC is backed up, it'll target the Kubernetes objects to get kind of a singular view of the entire namespace. So that's everything from deployments to services to secrets, config maps, everything else that was in that namespace. So now we can see our backup was successful. So now we have a capture of our applications on 3.11. So now what we're gonna do is click restore on that backup and we're gonna give it a name called OpenShift 4 Restore. And we're gonna select our OpenShift 4 cluster. So we backed up from our OpenShift 3 and now we're gonna select our 4 cluster. We're gonna use the same namespace and replace anything that's in there in case you know someone manually created it or something like that. But now we can go ahead and watch our restore process. So again, the first thing that happens is it will restore that EBS volume, which is backing the PVC for MariaDB. And now you can see that app NS1 was created less than a minute ago, meaning that our restore went ahead and created that namespace for us in OpenShift 4.5. PX Backup understands the, the differences between these clusters. And so you can see a success now. So that means the volume was backed up, and restored, and so was everything else in that namespace of three. So now let's go back and check that our namespace from OpenShift 3 to 11 was restored properly to 4.5.3. Here you can see this is the namespace. We can look at the workloads in this namespace, and we can see our Hello World service, five of five pods healthy, our MariaDB service, one of one pods healthy, um, that means the state in that database, as well as all the pods 
service and config maps are now running in 4.5. And we can just check here to see all pods are up and running. Great, so that is actually how simple it is for you to migrate entire namespace or applications from OpenShift 3.11 to 4.5 VX Backup. Until next time, take care.